Hello everyone, my name is Elspeth, you're watching the Planeswalker Pantheon today. We are opening up a set booster box from the latest Magic Gathering set, Streets of New Capenna. So this is a box of set boosters here, and enough chit chat, you, you don't need to hear me go on this preamble, you've heard me enough. Let's get into the thing you want to see, and that's the actual box opening, shall we? Alright, so, I've actually been having a lot of successful success with this set. I think I've finally kind of found my groove back after not drafting in person, you know, because of the pandemic. Um, we've had two drafts of this set so far since the release, so we had the release day and like one after. And I've come first place in both, so I can never ever complain about that ever. Alright, so get rid of that. We will pop the box. Ooh, we've got our uh, box topper, which is the Galagrida. This is the uh, English version. Um, if you go to other places like Japan, Korea, South America, they've all got different versions of this artwork. And I actually love the Japan one probably in terms of my favourite artwork. But that's cool that they've brought back regular box toppers. I'll try and get that off at a later time. Anyways, let's get into this, shall we? So we've got the first pack right here. Alright, so, like that. We have our art card of Obnixilus the Fallen. We have a foily cool swap, the cool mountain. Got a bunch of commons, some uncommons. Oh, we've, we've got a Golden Age corpse appraiser. Oh, we've got an obscure ascendancy as well. So for the white, blue, and black, you get an enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's mana, that is equal to one plus the number of soul counters on an obscure ascendancy. Put a soul counter on an obscure ascend obscure, asc obscure ascendancy, and then create a two-two white spirit creature token flying. As long as there are five or more soul counters on the ascendancy, it gets plus spirits you control get plus three plus three. So that's a really cool golden age. A uh, bit of artwork there. Oh, and we also got a Falco Spa Pact Weaver. So for one green, white, and blue, you get a legendary creature. Bird Demon, it's a 3 3 flying and trample. It enters the battlefield with a shield counter on it. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast spells from the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control, in addition to paying its other costs. Right. Ooh. Oh, these look really pretty. So it's a Zatora's Envoy, but it's the Gilded Foil Treatment. This is the first one to actually see in person and my god, I hope the camera is catching that because that looks really pretty. So, Satoru's Envoy for one black, red, and green. You get a creature via Shino Warrior. It's a 5 4 trample. When it deals combat damage uh, to a player, look at the top card of your library. You may play a land from the top of your library or cast a spell with mana value less than or equal to the damage dealt from dealt from the top of your library without paying its mana cost. If you don't put that card into your hand, it can blitz it for two black and a red. Oh, and it's kind of raised too. Oh, that's a nice touch. Hey, and we've got a card from this. We've got a good old Champion of the Parish. So, for a single white, if you've never played with Champion of the Parish before, single white, you get a creature human soldier. It's a 1 1. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Champion of the Parish. Man, I can't get over those Gilded Foils. They both look and feel amazing. Wow, okay. Alright, so we've got our next pack here. We've got our... It's a little stuck. Art card, which is Plasma Jockey. We have another cool full art land. We'll skip through these commons. Skip through the uncommons. We have a Glamorous Outlaw in the, old, in the Golden Age frame. We have a Cabaretti Charm, also in the Golden Age frame. We have a Jet Muse Garden as well, so it's the... Uh, other half of the triumph from Ikoria. Uh, so it's a land net and forest plains, taps for a red, green, or white, and can cycle it off. And we have a professional face baker. So for two and a red, you get a creature you can worry with menace. It's a two three. Whenever one or more creatures you control do combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Sacrifice a treasure, exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Oh, and we've got a full, no, normal full Spire's Headquarters. So this is the Bant uh, Triome, which is always real nice. And we've got our token right there, which is a treasure, which we'll chuck right to the side there. So we've got our commons and commons and rares, and we'll just put them in, in the thing. Oh, I just, just, just realised that it's actually signed, too. 
That was like one of the thinnest signatures that I've ever seen. Alright, next up. Our art card is Obscure Ascendancy. We have a cool swamp. We'll flip through these commons and uncommons. We have a waterfront district in the old art in the Golden Age frame. We have a Broker's Charm and a Sanguine Spy. So for two of the black, a creature vampire rogue is a two-third medicine lifelink. One, sacrifice another creature. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. At the beginning of your end step, if there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard, you may pay two life. If you do, draw a card. Oh, and we have a f normal four water from district. And our token message is the Rhino Warrior. Just minor tidy ups. All right, we're good here. Next pack. All right, so our card is Writ of w Return. Oh, we have a foil full art forest right there. And we will skip through some commons and un- And got some, oh, that's a three charm pack right there. A four charm pack. Hey, we even got the whole circle of charms just in this one pack. So, uncommons. Oh, and we've got one of the uh, uh, one of the commanders from the commander set, from the uh, broker, sorry, from the Riveteers. Vazzy King Negotiator. So for two red and black, red and green, legendary creature, human advisor, it's a 3-3 three, three paste. Tap target opponent creates X treasure tokens where X is the number of treasure tokens you create this turn. Whenever an opponent casts a spell or activates an ability, if mana from a treasure was spent to cast or activate it, pull plus one plus one counter on target creature, then draw a card. That's nice, so she pays other people, and you get a little bit of a kickback from it. Oh, we've also got Ognus, the Dragon's Lash. So for one hybrid Rakdos, red hybrid ghoul, for a legendary creature of the Ashino Warrior, it's a 3 through with haste. Whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, and create a tapped treasure token. And we have a foil Broker's Initiate, and we have a game of Booster Blitz. Right, that'll work for now. Alright, next up. Alright, so. Alright, so our art card is, if I can get it to flip, is. Ooh, TV Seller of Secrets. We have just a normal, regular, basic. We'll flip through the commons. Flip through the uncommons. We have a Rakish Revelers in the old art frame. We also have the uh, Broker's Charm in the old art frame for the previous pack. We have a Rocco Cabaretti also in the old art frame. And we have a Park Heights Pegasus. So for white and a green, you get creature Pegasus. It's a 2 1 flying and trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. If you had two or more creatures, enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Very nice. And we have a foil corpse appraiser and a citizen. Alright, next up. Alright, and our art card. Oh, it's Elspeth Resplendent. I love this artwork. I actually love all the artworks. Actually, this set got a normal mountain. Flick through. Ah, we've got an offer you can't refuse. Sleep of the Fishes. Are we just going full gangster? Cement Shoes? Apparently, yes. Psychic Pickpocket as our uncommons. Oh, we have a Brazen Upstart in the Golden Age frame. Oh, we have an Evolving Door. So for two and a Grainigan Artifact. One tap, sacrifice a creature. Count the number of colors. The colors of the sacrificed creature, then search your library for a creature card that's exactly that many colors plus one. Exile that card and then shuffle. You may cast the exiled card, ex activate only as a sorcery. And we have a foil sonic snoop, and we've got a little punch card which I'll punch out for later. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is oh it's the angel of suffering got a cool full art swamp we'll flip through the commons flip through the uncommons we have a botanical plaza in the golden age frame maestro's charm in the golden age frame i think this is the one i haven't seen yet oh and our rare is shadow of mortality so for 13 and 2 black you have a creature avatar it's a 7 7. If your life total is less than your starting life total, this spell costs X less to cast, where X is the difference. We have a foil Caldera Strong Arm. Oh, we've got, ooh, we've got one of the uh, 
the Walking Dead secret lair cards. Well, this is the um, um, or well, this is the alternate version, I believe. Avalox the Mind Fail. So for four and triple black, it's a legendary creature, enchantment creature horror. It's a nine nine. Uh, Avalox the Mind Fail isn't a creature unless you control three or more permanents you don't own. At the end of your end step, exile the bottom card of each opponent's library face down for as long as those cards. Uh, the main exiled, you may look at them, you may cast permanent spells from among them, and you may spend a mana as though it were a matter of any color to cast these spells. Very nice. I'm happy I've got one of them. Alright, next up. Because, I mean, the Walking Dead, sorry, the Walking Dead and like, the Secret Lairs that are sort of done up after franchises are great if you love the franchise, but also Secret Lairs in Australia are expensive. Just the cost alone and then the shipping on top. Alright, so we have as our art card, oh, Cornelia, I'm a thief. We have a mountain. We'll flick through, oh, mountain, and we'll flick through the commons. Flick through uncommons. Uh, we have a guy over there, Magpie, which is probably the worst template card I've ever seen. Alright, so we have a waterfront district. Oh, we just had one. Did I just miss? Huh, okay then. So we have an Avon Heart Stabber, so for two and a, sorry, a blue and a black, you a creature, bird, assassins, or one one flying. As long as there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard, it gets plus two, plus two, and has death touch. And when it dies, you mill two cards and draw a card. We have a foil quick draw dagger. Hey, this is a, it's another card from the list. It's Sanguine Sacrament. Good old Innis. X alarm block. So for X and two white, you an instant, you gain twice X life, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Alright. Next up. Alright, so our art card is ah uh, just just a little chat. Got our island and we'll skip through these commons. Skip through these uncommons. We'll have a tramway station. Oh, and we've got an unlicensed her. So for two money and artifact vehicle, it's a star style. Tap, exile two, two target cards from a single graveyard. It's parent toughness at each equal to the number of cards exiled with it, and you can crew it for two. Get, oh, we've got my own foil as well in the same pack. I'm not going to read it twice because we literally just went through it. And we have another Rhino Warrior. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is, oh, it's the Obscure Oculus, Camus, I think the name is, but our normal swamp. Alright, so it's some commons, flip through the uncommons. We have a Skybridge Towers in the Golden Age frame. Obscure Charm, I think we've got one of each Charm in, each, in the Golden Age frame, which is quite nice. We have a Mask Bandits, probably is my favourite art in the set. Oh, we have, we have Ginny Faye, Jetmere's second. So for a hybrid ghoul, a green, and a hybrid Selesnia, the legendary creature Elfjord's a 3-3. Three, three. If you would create one or more tokens, you may create, instead create that many 2-2 two, two green cat creature tokens with haste, or that many 3-1 dog creatures with vigilance. And we have a 4. Uh, it's Call and a Professional, which you must always do whenever you think you're doing any hard work. And a token which no one really cares about. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is, if I can get it off, is, oh, it's wiretapping, very nice. We have a full normal forest. We'll flick through, hey, again, four out of the five of the store, of the, uh, search lands. Alright, so we've got our uncommons. We have a master charm in the golden age four frame. Botanical Plaza. Uh, we have Jaxus the Troublemaker, which is our buy box promo. So for three and a red, you get a legendary creature human warrior. It's a 2 3. Red, tap and discard a card. Create a token that's a copy of another target creature you control. It gains haste, and when this creature dies, draw a card. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcerer. You can blitz it for one and a red. And we have a four spars adjudicators and a good dog. It's a good boy. One of the Ginny Fay's good boys. Next up. Alright, so our art card is... 
Oh, it's Jetmere's garden. We very much want a Jetmere plant. We've got a lovely full art forest. We'll flick through the commons, flick through the uncommons. We'll have a Quenza Orga of Agonies in the Golden Age frame. A Glamorous Outlaw also in that Golden Age frame. And we have the Obscure Ascendancy, which we had just before. But this is the normal art one. And we have, oh, we've got a Foil Mythic. It's even the score. So for X and Triple Blue, you get an instant. This spell costs Triple Blue less to cast. If an opponent has drawn four or more cards this turn, draw X cards. Oh, hey, we've got another one. Uh, we've got High Glide Kindly Rune Chanter. This is another one from the um, uh, Australian Thing Secret Lair. So for two white and a blue, you get a 2-3 creature human, legendary creature human. Tap to add two colours. Spend this amount to only cast artifact, only cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. And it has the Friends Forever mechanic, which is partners, but only with Friends Forever. I still need to watch Stranger Things. I've been meaning to for a long time, just haven't had the time to get around to it. I keep hearing it's very good, though. Alright, so our art card is Sky Boon, Boon Evangelist. We have a normal swamp. We will uh, flick through a murder, witness protection, make disappear. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, line of cards there. Rafine Silencer. We have a Whack, a Nightclubber. We'll have Mr. Orifer the Boulder uh, in the Golden Age frame. Skybridge Towers also in the Golden Age frame. We have a Disciplined Duels. I actually saw on Twitter the artist in this card actually doing the um, the time lapse artwork for this version. It looks really cool how they actually, actually um, put it together. Disciplined Duels. And we have a Topiary Stomper. So for one and two green, you get a creature plant dinosaur. Four for Vigilance. It enters the battlefield. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. It can't attack or block unless you control seven or more lands. We have a foil rob the archives and another punch out card which I will have fun with later. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is jeez. It's oh it's the masked bandits, the good boys. Got a full art forest. Alright, so we've got commons. Got some uncommons. Let's look at the back public enemy in a little chat. Oh, we've got uh, the good boys as our actual one of our cards. We've got Mari the Killing Quill. So for one and two black and legendary creature vampire assassins, a three two. Whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, exile it with a hit counter. Assassins, mercenaries, and rogues, you control have death touch, and whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, you may remove a hit counter from a from a card that player owns in exile. If you do, draw a card and create two treasure tokens. Very interesting. Oh, we've got more from the commander set. This is Analo the Painter. So for blue, black, and red, you get a legendary creature vampire assassin to one threat death touch. The first instant or sorcery spell you cast each turn has casualty two. Nice. We also have a ledger shredder, which is a nice bit of rolling off the tongue. One in the blue for a creature bird advice to one threat flying. Whenever a player casts the second spell each turn, it connives. And we have a foil illicit shipment and a copy token. Good for Jaxus. Next up. Alright, so our art card is Mage's Attendant. Got an island. Inspiring Rope Sale. Very, very good and limited. Always pick these things highly. You're happy for them in any white deck. Sparrow's Judicate, we've got all of our commons here, and we'll skip through our uncommons. We have a Lagar the Magpie in the Golden Age frame. We have a Rare in Wiretapping, so for 4 and a Blue, an Enchantment, Hideaway 5. Whenever you draw your first card during each of your draw steps, draw a card. Then if you have 9 or more cards in hand, you may play the Exiled card without paying its mana cost. We have a Foil Wrecking Crew right there, as well as a Treasure. All right, next. All right, so our art card, if I can get it off of this basic land. There is a plains. Got the basic and we'll draw faith is also very, very good. All right, so there's all of our commons, our 
uncommons. We have a Riveteer's Charm in the Golden Age frame. Broker's Adversary, which is apparently very busted. Uh, so for green, white, and blue, you can enchant the Bivia and set, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each planeswalker you control. Yeah, that's perfectly fair and limited. And ooh, we've got a Glamorous Outlaw in the Gilded frame, which is very nice to look at. Man, I just love how it's slightly raised. It looks so nice. Ooh, and we've got another one of the Friends of Rivers. I think we've got, mm, got three out of the set. So this is Elmar Uvenwald Informant. So for one red and green, this legendary creature human, it's a three to with haste. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, untap target creature, then investigate. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Next up. I'm doing pretty well with those. Uh, uh, the, the Stranger Things cards. Alright, so our art card is... Ah, oh, it's Jet Mia. Good old Jet Mia. Got our four art planes, and we will flick through these. Obscura Charm, Riveter's Charm. Always nice. We have a Shattered Seraph. We'll go the Magpie, Spirals of Judicators, and the uh, Golden Age frame. And our rare is the Taurus Envoy. So for one black, red, and green, you get a... Actually, I think we read this earlier. Yes, we did, because we, we got the, uh, the Golden Age treatment. But our foil, foil is Unleash the Inferno. So for one red, black, red, and green, you get an instant. It does 70 damage to target creature or planeswalker. When it deals XX damage to this way, destroy target artifact or enchantment in the opponent controls. With mana value less than or equal to the amount of excess damage. And we have ooh, a wizard token. It's the first time I've seen this one, actually. Very nice. Always nice to see things that you haven't seen yet. Right. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the set. It's so easy to go three colours. Sometimes even dip into a fourth. Our art card is... Oh, Evelyn the Covetous. I've got a mountain and we'll flip through. Got our uncommons. Um, we've got a waterfront district in the old age frame, and we've got a shakedown heavy. So for two and a black, you get a creature ogre warrior. It's six full with menace. When it attacks, uh, defending pain may have you draw a card. If they do, untap the heavy and remove it from combat. Very nice. We have a four for the family and some more tokens. Oh, they did do tokens with the abilities on there. I thought they can probably miss. I thought they just did plus one, plus one counters and shields, but I, evidently I was wrong. All right, next up. All right, our art card is Extravagant Replication. Got a full, full art swamp. Flick through the commons. Flick through the uncommons. Oh, Nimble Larcenist in the Golden Age frame. Botanical Plaza also in the Golden Age. Oh, we've got a Maestro's Diabolist right here. So for blue, black, and red, you get a creature vampire warrior. It's a 1 4 death touch in haste. When it attacks, if you don't control a devil token, create a tapped and attacking 1 1 red devil creature token with. Whenever, when this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target in the Golden Age frame. We also have a Rafine's Towers. This is the Esper Triome. And a foil races ring. And another token that we don't care about because it has no value to me. Next up. Alright, so our art card is Obscura Inter Interpret Interceptor. Got a basic planes. Flick through these commons. Click through these uncommons. We have a Skybridge Tower in the alt art frame. Broker's Charm. Hey, we've got a Nixless the Adversary. This is the second one I now own. So for one black and red, you get a legendary planeswalker Nixless. It starts at three loyalty. Casualty X. Uh, plus one, each opponent loses two life unless they discard a card. If you control a demon or devil, you gain two life. Minus two, create a one one red devil creature token with when this creature dies, it deals one damage to any target. And then for minus seven, Target player draws seven cards and loses seven life. I did something that was very off flavor during pre-release and I actually flipped this off of Elspeth. Yes, I had a pre-release kit that had both Obnixilis and Elspeth. 
the Mixus was in like the full art and I just had a normal Elspeth. It was one of the most insane pre kits I've had in a long time. We have a foil strangle and another token we don't care to talk about because it has no actual token on there. I wish I'd go back and um you know just do the whole token guaranteed token in every set. And our art card. Ah, oh, speaking of Obnixus, so it's another one that's signed. This is actually the uh, Golden Age Frame version. Got a full art mountain. We'll flick through these commons. Flick through the uncommons. We have a Shattered Seraph in the Golden Age Frame. We have a Master's, Master, Master's Diabolus, which we've already read. And we have a Wingshield Agent and a Citizen. Alright. Next up, all right. Our art card is what's well, an island? Got a mountain. We'll flick through, and, and got uncommons right here. Oh, I actually like this um artwork for crew captain. Oh, we have a Betty the Bulverizer. I'm sorry, it's a force of habit. I watched way too much um, Venus and Ferb when I was younger. So for uh, one green, white, and blue, you get a legendary creature of Rhino Soldiers, a 3-3. When it enters, it enters the battlefield, put a shield count on target creature. When it attacks, target creature you control gains travel and gets plus X plus X until X, end of turn, where X is the number of different kinds of counters among permanents you, you control. I'm sorry, but if you don't say, Betty the Bulverizer, you're not... You obviously didn't watch um, Phineas and Ferb, but uh, Doofus Smurfs would love this guy, I think. We have, oh, we have a Tenacious Underdog as well, very good card. So if one of black, you get a Creature Human Warrior, it's a 3-2 with Blitz of 2 and 2 black, pay 2 life. You may cast Tenacious Underdog from your graveyard using its Blitz ability. We have a Foil Voice of the Vermin, and we have a Treasure. Betty! Next up. Sorry, it's going to be some of this living rent free in my head now for a little bit. We have as our art card, if I can peel it off the basic, Jetmere's Garden, very nice, a foil normal swamp, we have our commons, we have our uncommons, we have a racer's ring in the golden age frame, oh we have another card from the commander set, it's Tenacious Truths, so for one and a white you can enchantment aura, enchant opponent. At the beginning of Enchanted Opponent's end step, you and that player will each draw a card. When you attack an Enchanted Opponent or Planeswalker they control, or when they attack you or a Planeswalker you control, sacrifice the truce. We have a Spara's Headquarters, which we read earlier, and a Foil Case the Joint. And a little game of Demon's Do. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is Lagar the Magpie, a foil full art swamp. We'll flick through these commons, flick through the uncommons. We have a Golden Age Corpse Appraiser, Golden Age Spires Adjudicators, Golden Age Rocco Cabaret Caterer, and we have a Mythic, it's Titan of Industry. So for four and triple green, you get a creature elemental to 7 7 with Reach and Trample. No, it has Reach. When it enters the battlefield, choose two. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Target player gains five life. Create a 4 4 Grand Rhino Warrior creature token and put a shield on a creature you control. Very nice. And we have a full run out of town and an Ogre Warrior. Alright. Next up. Alright, our art card is. Oh, it's Venom Connoisseur. We have a foil mountain. We'll flick through these commons, flick through these uncommons. We have a races ring in the Golden Age frame. Broker's Charm also in the Golden Age frame. And we've got a mythic, it's Halo Fountain, so it's the MacGuffin of the set. So for two and a white, you get an artifact. A uh, white tap and untap a tapped creature you control. Create a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature token. Two white and tap and tap two to untap cr tap creatures. You control to draw a card. And five white tap and untap 15 tapped creatures. You win the game. We have a four midnight assassin and another little punch card which I will have fun with later. 
next up. But yeah, I'm really liking the set. It feels it feels good. Let's say they're doing like Kamigawa. I enjoyed Kamigawa because I love um, Japan and its history and culture. We have our art card of make an make an example, a full art swamp. We will flick through these commons, flick through the uncommons. We have ooh, a brazen upstart in the golden age frame. Rakish revelers also in the golden age frame. We have a Cornelia glamour thief in the golden age frame. We have a reservoir kraken. So for two and two blue, you get a creature kraken. It's a six six with trample and ward two. The new age combat. If reservoir kraken is untapped. Any opponent may tap an untapped creature they control. If they do tap the Kraken and create a 1-1 one, one blue fish creature token with this creature can't be blocked. We have a Venom Connoisseur and Foil. Ooh, we have a Ruined, ruined Halo as part of the list. Two Right Enchantment. When it's a battlefield, choose a card name. You have protection from the chosen card name. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We've got three packs of this, le packs of this box left. It's been pretty good. I've got to say... I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say. Alright, so we have our R card, which is. Oh, it's Rogue's Gallery. Uh, we've got our basic swamp. We will flip through these commons. Flip through these uncommons. We have a Rakish Revelers in the Golden Age. Discipled Duelist in the Golden Age. We have a Fleetwood Dancer. So for one uh, red, green, and white, you get a creature, Elf Druid, which has Trample, Life, and Can Haste, and it's a 4 4. The last draft that I played, I was basically in broker, so green, white, blue. Um, I drafted this and I splashed it on for the red. I copied this with the clone of the set. And they actually swung me out with a win. It's such a good card. I can't believe it passed to me, to be honest. May they fall, fake your own death, and a treasure token. Alright. Whoops. There we go. Next pack. But yeah, I've been enjoying it. This set has been fun. Like, really fun. Alright, so our art card is Contractual Safeguard. Got a forest. We will flick through all of these commons. Flick through the uncommons. We have a Racer's Ring in the Golden Age frame. We have, oh, we have a getaway car. So for three mana, get an artifact vehicle. It's a fourth of haste. Whenever it attacks or blocks, return up to... Oh, it's up to one. I remember it says uh, you had to return a creature. Uh, you may return up to one target creature that crewed it this turn to its owner's hand. Crew one. I thought it was you had to return it. That's something I did not realize. Because I had it in the same deck as that Fleetwood Dancer. That's that's actually... Uh, Fleetwood Dancer. That's actually good to know. We have a full security rocks and a game of Demon's Do. Alright, so this will be the second last pack right here. This has been a good box. I can't complain with an Omdixilis and like some, some really nice gilded foils. Alright, our art card is Disdainful Stroke. Got our Swamp. Got our Commons. Got our Uncommons. We have our Golden Age Crew Captain. We have a Jet Mears Guard, so this is the Naya one. And a Foil Civic Gardener. And a fish. Alright, last pack. What do we want? I might an Elspeth. I might be pushing it though. Maybe Golden, golden Age Elspeth? That'd be real nice. I do like the, the art style. Alright, so our art card is Vivian on, on the Hunt. I thought she was in this set actually. Got a Plains. We'll flick through our commons. Flick through our uncommons. We have our masked bandits in the golden age. Cormelia glamour thief. We have a hostile takeover. So for two blue, black, and red, you get a sorcery. After one target creature has base power and toughness one one until end of turn. After one target other creature has base power and toughness four four until end of turn. Then deals three damage to then it deals three damage to each creature. Very nice. If they feel expendable lucky. And hey, we've got a trans transmogrifying one from Core 19. So for three mana, get an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, with, it enters the battlefield with three charge counters on it. One tap, remove a charge counter. Destroy target creature. Its controller creates a 2 4 white ox creature token. <laughs> nice. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. It lets people know that we exist and that we're making content. 
Um, get, give me a follow on Twitter, links are down below. You can also find us at the Planeswalker Pantheon on Facebook. Again, links are down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.